Matt Hun here with MDH Technologies. Thanks for joining me in today's session about how to share a, a calendar and Outlook. Uh, for today's session, we're going to be using Outlook 2013, uh, and we're on Microsoft Exchange Server 2013 as well. Um, so there are a couple instances that come to mind uh, where it would be useful to be able to share some of your calendar information with other people. For example, coworkers, administrative staff, um, that, that sort of thing. You can create group calendars uh, to help with collaboration and, and other things. So um, it's really easy to do that. Basically, you just open up your Outlook here. Uh, you'll notice that I'm in Outlook 2013 and I've created a uh, a test calendar called test and that's what you see here there's no appointments on it or anything um, but basically it's real simple here up at the top you'll see where you can email the calendar okay so you're gonna choose the calendar you want to email and that the name of the calendar is test um, the date range the entire calendar 30 days 7 days tomorrow date or you can actually just specify from when to when Okay, uh, and if you go to the advanced options here, you have options to include details of items marked private. For example, if you're going to share this with um, a spouse or something like that, uh, and you don't mind those private details being uh, shared, um, that's um, something to think about here. Include attachments within calendar items. So if there's anything attached to the the calendar item. Uh, you can share that or opt not to which is what the default is so uh, the email layout you can actually choose a daily schedule or simply a list of events and um, I'm going to hit daily schedule and uh, just use the okay so since there's no appointments there's not this is not very useful but um, it's just going to indicate uh, free times here which is basically everything and then you would be able to type in an address who you're sending it to you could even copy someone on it and um, it also comes with this attachment here so that if the email isn't viewable for whatever reason in its text form that you would be able to open the .ics file within um, an email client and be able to get that same information so I'm not going to actually send this email now the uh, more common way that people would want to share a calendar is uh, using the share calendar option here uh, because that is going to allow the recipient you're sharing with to get updated information so if you were to input a new meeting or appointment or adjust an existing uh, appointment on the calendar then that information would be synchronized with that individual um, so you would just select that button here we get the email you can type in who it's to and uh, here is a permission setting so you've got to decide if you're basically the recipient is going to have editing capabilities uh, and, and the ability is to uh, delete items and add new items and so on and so forth and uh, it's important to note that this option is only applied to recipients within your organization okay so that is that they're on the same email exchange email server that you are otherwise uh, that's not an option although they can still view the calendar so they can have read access to it only okay and um, the other option here is to be able to um, publish a calendar online, which uh, I've not actually um, run into doing this through Exchange. Although um, doing uh, connecting through something like SharePoint or something like that uh, it would be a common use of this. Although you can create the calendar in SharePoint and um, share it to your Outlook, I think, which is a more common way of doing it. Uh, but once again, the uh, share calendar button here, and um, just typing in the, uh, the uh, recipient there. Okay. Also, you'll notice that once you're on the uh, the calendar that you want to select, you can actually go to calendar permissions, and uh, you can add people within your organization uh, and designate. Um, 
permissions as appropriate. So uh, whether they can read uh, something, get full details of something, uh, so on and so forth. So you'll want to explore some of these options before you actually send the calendar. Uh, but that's uh, some of the basic how-to on sort of how to uh, share calendars uh, inside and outside your organization. Once again, this has been Matt Hun with MDH Technologies talking to you today about how to share your calendar and outlook. And I uh, hope you have found this helpful. Visit us on our website, mdhtech.com.